Hey, this is Jessica, and I don't know why I'm sitting in like this weird corner of my room, but I am, because there's everything. <laughs> but look, I finally got a package from Stephanie, Sherwood Small Pets. Um, tell you <laughs> the deal with this package, it's kind of funny. Um, it was supposed to be a surprise um, for like Easter, I think. And then, but Stephanie forgot my address because I guess she lost it because when I sent her those um, apple sticks, the gourmet sticks that had apple on it and one had marigold and like my return address was obviously on the envelope and I guess she lost my address because then so she had to message me and ask me for my address so that kind of blew the surprise there and then she said she sent it like two weeks before Easter and then I don't know a troll ate her mail because it wasn't I guess she sent it uh, some other stuff to other people I'm not sure but like a troll ate her mail and like sent it back. She she ended up getting everything back opened though, which is really weird. Opened. But I was like, well, did you at least get everything back? Cause you know I'd be like pissed off if like the post office did that to me. Like I'd be like, where's your friggin' manager? First of all, especially with it being opened, I'd be like, WTF? Like, do you, was there? Do you, did your dog sniff it? Did it think there was drugs in there? What like what happened? Why is it open? <laughs> so they got back open and, they, and then she had to resend it and then it took still a few days and then she finally got confirmation that it was sent and then it still took longer than it should have and I finally got it today because it should have only took a day because I sent her a surprise package and I sent it on like a Thursday and she literally got it the Friday because I had I was I always keep the tracking and when you're sending uh, Canada to Canada because she lives in the same province as me it's only like a few hours away really um, they'll get, always give you a tracking number, so I was checking the tracking, and she received it within, like, 24 hours. Which was surprising. I thought it would at least be two days, but whatever. This has been a week, so it shouldn't have taken a week from Ontario to Ontario, which means they still held it. And then I jokingly asked her, I was like, did you go to the post office to send it? Like, like how did you send it? And she was like, oh, I went to this, like, sketch, this convenience store that had the post office in it. So I was like, oh, well, maybe that was the problem. Because I know I have the main post office in my town. Then I have a grocery store, which is like a little, like a, you know, when you have like local grocery stores, it's not like a big name one, it's like a local one. And the local grocery store has a post office in it. And I've never gone to that to send mail. So I don't know if they're any good. They probably are. I always have to pick up my mail though there. Like if I'm not home when they try to deliver something, I always have to go there, which is really annoying because my post office, the actual post office, is closer. So that's why I always send everything through the actual post office. It's like a 10 minute walk. I've, I've never had an issue sending out stuff. Not sure why she did. I don't know. Don't go to that convenience store, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's why they opened it. Like, maybe since it wasn't the main post office, they have to send the stuff to the main post office, and then they have to go through. I don't... I don't know. I don't see how... It's a problem. <laughs> you know? They shouldn't be checking stuff unless it's been flagged because of something weird going on. It's like even when you send stuff through, like I can stuff, send stuff to the states and it doesn't usually get opened unless it goes through the x-ray machine and something looks weird or the dog smells it and then picks up something. I have had an item shipped to me once that was opened from the states because you end up getting something from customs that says like we opened it and then they tape it back up and everything. So it must have been through the x-ray machine and something came up like it could have possibly been hiding something. I don't know. I don't know. I watch that Border Patrol show now and it's like... Yeah, something looks weird on x-ray, they automatically pull it and look at it, so whatever. I don't know. So let's see what's inside after all that. I don't know. Complaining. Well, not even. Storytelling. I joked and said that it went to Narnia and the package had to come. And then somebody didn't like what was in the package and threw it back at her. That's why it was open. Is there a card? Yes. Ooh, my name. With elephants. There's letters on these elephants. I don't know why I'm whispering. There's like things in the elephants. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, look, see? I don't get it. Let me open and read quickly. <laughs> Oh, 
Sorry. She's just talking about how it's awesome that she met somebody else from Ontario. That's awesome, because there's not many awesome Ontarians. <laughs> There it is. Doesn't say anything secret, but I really don't feel like reading it out loud. So, haha, ha, you gotta you had to sit there and listen to nothing. Ooh, look, I see this thing and it's cute, so I'm gonna pick it up first. Is this does it squeak? It squeaks. The ladybug. I'm whispering again, I don't know why. It is one of those Marcia, Martha Stewart toys. And I can't. Marcia? Marcia? I don't know who Marcia is. But that's cute. But then if I put it in the cage, it's gonna get peed on. Probably will anyways. Cause you know my cats like to pee on my cats. My I don't know why my cats are in my cage. Like <laughs> guinea pigs like to pee on everything. But we will find a place for it. Ooh, we got one of these. That's good, because my guinea pigs like to chew on one. I think I have another one somewhere. I think. I don't like to go looking for it though, so I'll probably just open up this one and throw it in the cage. I see this, which is one of those cool toys that she gets from that place. Because that's very useful information. You know, the, the place that you get stuff at, that's where she gets it. I don't know, it's something about like chinchilla. It's a store for chinchillas, but they sell a whole bunch of chews that's also good for other animals. I think that's where you get this. You'll know what I'm talking about, nobody else will. But yeah, I think it's like, looks like peeled willow, I guess. I don't know. They'll probably like it, though. This one's long. Let's open this. This came back from crappy Walmart and got pissed off there. For some reason, I can't go to Walmart anymore because every time I go there, I get angry. They just, I need to get a new debit card because they canceled mine. <sighs> I can read the chip in my card. I tried, obviously they tried it way too many times, and now you know how you have to change your card and get a whole new card, because they tried it too many times, that's what happened, so I gotta go to the bank tomorrow, after work, get a whole new debit card. The thing I had a credit card on me, but I really didn't want to use it. Angry. Why won't this open? Oh, and then some other crazy lady in produce made me and Pat angry. I don't want to get into that. Oh, it's one of these longer ones. I was going to say, look, it felt like a kebab, but I didn't know what type of kebab, because it felt weird. This is also from that place. You know, the place. So everything's like wood and willow, I guess, and sisal. Yeah. I think I know what I'm going to do with this. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. Haha. -ha. That's my bag. Did I already show this and put it back in? Is that why? What happened? Do I have two? Or... No, I showed it and put it back in. That's not smart. Oh, I see something small. One of these guys. It's a toothbrush instead of an alligator. That's cool. I can give that to... Um, I think Bandit likes them. Actually, I think both the dwarfs like them. Maybe we'll give it to Jude. Maybe we'll give it to Bandit. I, find, I feel like Jude is really chubby. Next time he comes out, I'll make a video or something. Because I feel like he's really chubby. And I don't know why. He has two wheels. I thought it was because he can't run right on his saucer. So he has um, a side spinner and his saucer. But he doesn't use this, the... the, the fucking dog. He doesn't use his wheel at all, Pat says. Because Pat's up late at night more than I am. He says he only uses the saucer, and I'm like, well, I don't think he's eating the right exercise, because he's chubs. Like, I try not to even give him as much food anymore. But Bandit is in fine shape. He's fine. Unless he's just getting old. He's a little bit older than Bandit, but... I don't know, even Boo was never that fat. And he got old, and he, he was my only... He was my first hamster that I actually had to, like, go through a death with, so... If anything, he got really thin near the end, I think. I can't remember. Either way, this is one of those dog treats, but hamsters like them. Because I still have one in Ruby's cage, so I'm not going to give it to her. I'll give it to Bandit. Jude is too fat. Ooh, ooh, what is in this? Oh, look, something else that Lily can get her head in. <laughs> I 
my problems. See, this is the one I wanted originally, to be honest. When I first saw the um, Living World seagrass game type things when the Living World Game Line first came out. I wanted to get this for the guinea pigs, so I figured this would be safest for guinea pigs. But then they didn't have this at my local pet store, and I got the egg one, and then Lily got her stuck. Lily got her head stuck in the egg, and we have it on video. It's you can find the video somewhere. It's a review on the egg too, a great review. You can see Lily with her head stuck in it. It's kind of hilarious because she didn't hurt herself, so it's okay. But I don't know how long. Unfortunately, I don't know how long her head was stuck, which is kind of bad. It makes me feel bad. It makes me feel like a bad pet parent, but it's kind of funny. It was funny. Just because we, I, we, me and Pat both went to work. And, she had, and I loved it in the cage because I thought it was safe to be in the cage. But they're not. Don't leave these unattended. Even this one. Don't leave this unattended. Maybe she squeeze, can squeeze it and bend it and get her head stuck. Because I think that's what happened. The egg, the hole where she got... Because the egg has two holes too. And the hole that... Oh, this one's really big. And the hole that she got her head stuck in was stretched. So she might have really forced her head in because she's greedy and wanted something that was inside because I had stuffed it with hay. And, yeah. It was, it's still funny, though, if you think about it. And she's really freaked out, though, because I was trying to pull it off of her head, and she was freaking out. So I had to put the camera down. That's why you don't really see how I took it off her head. All I had to do was hold it. I just held it, and she yanked her head out. She also has a lot of hair, so maybe it was just her hair stuck in it. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that bad. But it was kind of hilarious. Yeah, because that hole's pretty big. I did tell Hagen about it, and they kind of were like, oh, like, hmm, we're glad she's okay. And then they... I don't know, but double check the hole size on them. So I don't know if they made them smaller or anything. This one's pretty big. But, see, t really big's not too bad as long as they can get their head in and then back out. I'm gonna have to buy some oat hay. That's what I did last time, is I stuck oat hay in it. Because they usually, they always get orchard grass, so I don't feel like putting orchard grass in it, I like putting something different in it. And then I think I put treats in it last time too, but I can't remember which treats. Either way, it's not smart to leave it in your cage because that's why I threw out the egg game because they ended up, like, it smelled. I picked it up and I was like, oh, you guys have peed on this or something's happened to it. So, yeah. This time, whenever I give it to them, but probably not anytime soon because I don't have oh hay, I'm... I'll film it again. <laughs> but they won't, I won't be dropping it off and, like, leaving them with it. So, yay, I got all this stuff from Stephanie. Thank you so much. This video's gonna be really long and you're gonna be like... Okay, why are you talking about everything else but the package? So, let me try to get up. I don't even know why I'm sitting. I decided to sit down and now I want to get up. I'm too old, I can't get up. I don't even know what the pigs are doing. I just got home from Walmart and I was still a little angry, so I just kind of went on my computer and didn't really check in with them. Pat said he vacuumed you guys at some point. I don't know when. Probably in the morning. Lily, you look so booful. You look so booful. Yeah. Your haircut. You look so skinny. I can't give this to you. Sorry. I'm not letting you have it. Give this to Bandit, who's probably sleeping somewhere. So I'm just going to throw it into his cage. Ow! Eh. That was a fail. I don't even know. There it is. I don't even know where it went. I'm not going to wake him up, though. You look kind of silly. You do. I cut your face too much, didn't I? I want to touch one of you. Let me touch you. You look soft. This is the day after the bath. They probably don't trust me. They're like, get away from me. And you just bathed me and cut my hair. And I cut her butt hair really well because she ended up, she stopped kicking for Pat. So Even when Pat picks up Daisy, she still kicks. It's kind of funny. Look at your face. So I think I'm going to... Tie up that um, kebabi thing that you sent, you gave me, like here. Like I'm gonna do this with it, like that, like a wreath, or like a whatever. A, I don't know what the word is. Like something. Yeah. Because I'm gonna use these things since I have so many of them. I'll use these things. I have so many because every time I get something that has them, I get more. I should tell, I should tell Piggy Pop Shop and everywhere else I don't need those things anymore. Just give me like the product. I think it's been three days, so I have to vacuum and change out your pads and the tunnel. And they, 
Look at Daisy. She looks cute though. You can see her face. So, I am going to go do that, not in camera, because this is a 15 minute video of me opening up an envelope. A padded envelope, yeah. The secret presents. I don't know where I'm going to put this though. So, I'm not probably going to learn how to talk, and then I'm probably going to come back and put this somewhere eventually. But I don't know where. Maybe when the cage is like fully clean again. Maybe I'll just put it on like clean days so it doesn't get. I know I can throw it in the wash though. I don't know why I'm being so weird about it. Like I don't want them to pee on this, but they can pee on everything else. So yeah, I'm gonna turn this into like something that can hang. They probably won't be able to chew it. Yeah, they will. I don't usually. They're usually only a snug them there or a cuddle cup. I'll probably be switching into a cuddle cup so they can chew it from there. And then I got these, I got all these lovely things. So I didn't know what type of stuff Stephanie can get from a Loving World grain. Wasn't sure what they had where she lived. Because I've never heard of where you live. Sorry. <laughs> well, I can say. The envelope says one thing. Your actual address is another. Like, just like the tracking. The tracking says one place. And then the address you give me says another. So I don't know if you know where you live. <laughs> And I'll tell you secretly what I'm talking about, because I don't really want to reveal what city you live in, because it's pretty small. I don't care if people know where I live, but I'm not going to out somebody else. Is my flash on? I'm so confused. I'm so high right now. I'm not, but if I feel like I sound like it. So I only have to work again tomorrow, and then I have three more days off. I just came off of two days off, so it's pretty sweet, other than it's hot at work, like really hot. And I, kind of, and I hate it. You look pretty. Your cage kind of smells though. I don't know why. I think it's just this. It happens when you pee on hay. Plus it's hot in here. This, my room's the hottest in the house. We're going to be putting the AC up soon. Heat plus smells don't mix. I think I should take that down now. It's been up forever. So yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. And thanks for watching my unboxing slash random stuff. And I'll put Stephanie Sherwood Small Pets link in the description so you can go subscribe to her. Because you should, or you should have already have. And thanks for watching. Bye.